Pittsburgh has become a popular place for testing driverless vehicles, but with a deadly crash recently in Arizona, PennDOT is ramping up safety measures. Here's Money Editor John Delano. When a pedestrian walking her bike was killed in Arizona by an autonomous self-driving Uber vehicle, officials in Pennsylvania took notice, especially since this region has become a focal point of testing for HAVs or highly automated vehicles. We hope our action plan will allow continued HAV research and development in Pennsylvania while offering a framework to help build confidence that this work advances with safety as our highest priority at all times. In Pittsburgh on Monday, PennDOT Secretary Leslie Richards unveiled an action plan to ensure nobody gets hurt from autonomous vehicles while testing continues. The intent is not to slow it down nor halt it, but to make sure that it moves forward in a very safe manner. The plan includes submission of detailed company information, verification that federal and state safety standards are met, certification of driver training, list of vehicles involved, routes for testing, and proof of insurance. At least six entities are involved with HAVs in this area, including Aptive, Argo AI, Aurora Innovation, Carnegie Mellon University, and Uber. Although Uber suspended testing while national highway traffic officials investigate the Arizona tragedy. One problem in Pennsylvania, the safety plan is voluntary because the General Assembly has not yet passed legislation to empower PennDOT to regulate autonomous vehicle safety. But and, Richards uh, expects you know, again, I, I full I compliance. It, but it's in the best interest of the testers, it's in the best industry, indus, interest of the industry that we walk in the same direction uh, with the public. Um, they don't want to be fighting the public every step of the way either. John Delano, KDKA TV News.